good evening friends this is pradeep kumar here so today we will be seeing uh, three new blocks introduced in moodle so one thing is heat maps this is one block number 2 will be analytic graphs number 3 will be level up so analytic graphs means it is learning analytics about the students participation so these are the three different uh, blocks that we are going to introduce in moodle so how can you do so all the faculty can able to do on their own in their courses so first i will go with my login here okay i will take one course here site home so let me take a course called as ita 6016 so let me go into your course here so this machine learning course so this is your course page so first thing is you make turn editing on being a faculty since i am doing in administration side you can do it on your faculty side so we just go here in the last here uh, you have something like add a block so you have an icon button here click this so once you add a block the first thing is analytic graph here so click this analytic graph so once you have done the analytic graph uh, in the desktop you can see in the right hand side since i am using an ipad so it is on the bottom of the course page now these are the different grades chart content access number of active students assignment submissions quiz submissions hits distribution so there are so many options you will get a beautiful graphs now in the grade charts so there are uh, there is one quiz already added so when you see add all so you can able to get the quiz assignments here now we can know about the quiz so number of grades is 135 totally 135 students the lowest grade is 0.2 and the highest grade is 0.88 so it is something like uh, out of one probability scale it is showing like this and 34 students with grade inferior are equal to 40 and 68 students with inferior are equal to 46 and one or two students are around uh, uh, 70 percentage the inferior to are equal to 55 so this kind of graphs it will be showing you this for all the graph let's say for example it's only for tulasi prasa this faculty now the data will be slightly changing so how this data will be changing so this can be like this 0.28 and 0.88 so number of grades is 72 so it is something like this uh, you can able to check for each and every of your group so since i am seeing all the groups you might also be seeing all the group but according to your group you can select it so this is one option second thing is content access so let's say i'll take only quiz here for time being and display start from 29th to june actually they are from fast track course so from 29th to june build the graph now how many people have accessed the content so you can see here the quiz number 3 the quiz number 4 is yet to be scheduled i think that's why it is showing uh, only uh, 135 here whereas the uh, the green color is the how many students have seen the quiz it will be showing the complete list of uh, details and uh, green color indicates that it is access is uh, green no access means red color so this again uh, you can check it for uh, all the students or only a particular student see that it is 74 so not access only one student they did he or she didn't access here so in this case so we can able to find out who is the student also so we can send a message also directly from here so this way uh, we can able to send uh, some uh, learning analytics so we can make sure that all the learners are learning this courses okay next thing is number of active students it is time wise number of active students at which time uh, during the last 27 days so during morning 8 o'clock 136 students are appearing here so that means that they might be having a class or they might be having a laboratory there or around 8 o'clock again the number of uh, student activities also very high so this way and the other time is uh, around 9 10 o'clock so it is around 23 students are active and this is uh, one graph for all the students so this also the second option next option is assignment submissions so in the assignment submission here uh, red color is no submission so there is no assignment submission um, it's there and uh, Uh, in time submission is uh, this number and uh, blue color is this submission so for each and every graph there is a value available there so you can check it here submission ratio and all this stuff okay so this is on an assignment submission that also you can verify because i have selected only quiz now quiz submissions so this also we can able to see for the, all the groups so in time submission is this blue color indicates in time submission so how many students that also you can verify late submission there are uh, some students they have done it lately that's the uh, black color is showing here no submission is red color and submission ratio is showing here so this way you can adjust the graph okay 
next thing is heat distribution so so this is heat distribution so you can see that how the number of heats have happened between each and every student so this also you can able to see for your own student you can able to say what is a good activity excited by the student for your own student you can check it so even uh, you can uh, see whether the number of days by week with access uh, four weeks uh, resource with access how many resources number of resources accessed by week so how the wave form varies for each and every student so this also you can verify who is the one that access maximum number of times and duration and you can send mail so total week access is what and total resource access is what so no access so these three students they didn't access the course content so far so this way you can able to find out the option so this is on the first part so you just analyze uh, uh, more uh, topics into it and next to block we'll be adding here is add block and we call something called a heat map so this is heat map so heat map once it there is a heat map we will get some yeah this is the heat map so you just toggle it so once you toggle it you will see some coloring so this coloring indicates that there is 927 you can see here so we have 927 here so that means that so around 927 views are been there and 113 students have viewed it So and similarly, this is a yellow color. Yellow color means slightly lesser because I think they are planning a quiz for tomorrow morning. So that's why it is showing 270 views. I mean, 270 people have seen it, and uh, or 270 times it has been viewed, and seven uh, times we have seen. Even uh, I also went and see inside. So that's how the way the course files are been accessed here. So this is on heat map. So you can see the total number of views in this course is 1,238, and distinct user views 167. So distinct user views one. the starting the, the starting one the course starting date so it is in a fast track course so it will be uh, since june so toggle heat map means the coloring will go off so this is on toggling so next thing is uh, last block will be adding here so there are so many other blocks as well if you want you can try out and level up so there is another third block called as level up so this level up block will be containing uh, thing like this so participate in the course to gain experience points and level up so based on the participation value the level up value will be shown so the third module is uh, the level up module i already installed in my uh, course page so this is my iot course page where i have installed it all the three now in this i'll just go with the level up just uh, see that there are options like info ladder report and settings Now once go to the ladder, it calculates. So in my course, so it is Pradeep Kumar T S B one slot. So in my course there are four students. Uh, one of the student R S Harish, he I think he has crashed one twenty points, and uh, now he is in one forty four. I mean one thirty two points, so that he is in level number two. Uh, there are three students level number one, and remaining all uh, they have not yet started. So there may be that there could be one reason. Maybe the other faculty of the same course. so there are uh, four students uh, with this points so what are the rules so here we have so many information here information info the ladder means which are the how many ladders they can up to 10 points they can up to 10 level they can go up and there's a report for it the report of each and every one so which level they are in so that we can able to analyze maybe i'll just go with the faculty now this is a log so what are the different logs so for the course module viewed and what they have done it So R S Harish is keep on active in the particular course. This particular student and levels. So these are the different levels. So if you want to give a level name, you can give level one, what name? Level two, what name? Three, four, like that up to ten levels you can give. So this is one. And the rules, the rules you can able to um, set the rules. Okay. So now this rule, what you can do is now here zero points are earned when any of the condition. So maybe I'll just delete this rule. Here the crud is the given crud means create. Read, update, and delete. So these are the four. C means uh, create means forty-five points. When he create something, he will get forty-five points. And when he read something, he get nine points. Uh, when he update something, he get three points. And uh, when delete, he don't get any point. It is zero points. Now in case if I want to add a rule, so let me add a rule here. Click a rule. Now uh, any conditions are true. So any of the conditions. So maybe I can give any of the conditions or all conditions, whichever way you write. now let's say give i will give let's say uh, five points for add a condition so in the condition you can give specific event activity or resource or event property so let's say i have given an activity so for example 
these activities in the video uh, internet of uh, introduction to internet of things so this video so once the uh, activity view is true it is fo followed you will get five points and one more condition specific event so in the specific event mean there are so many events available here uh, when the assignment uh, is submitted you will get some points course module viewed feedback viewed submission viewed like this and book chat chat and even we have quiz also so quiz somewhere here yeah quiz module viewed means he will get he may get one point or quiz attempt abandoned quiz attempt started once you start he will get two points and quiz attempt submitted he will get 10 points quiz attempt time exceeded he don't get anything quiz attempt viewed he get uh, two points or one point so something like that you can uh, create each and every event here okay so now what i do is i'll just create for this video you will get one point for example whenever you view the video he will get two points okay this is one rule i can have it and another rule is again i can give two points here so two point the condition will be uh, activity error resource my second video i can give the second video here i got it okay now one more rule i'll just give again two points here so for the for example i have given so far i have given three videos so all the three video he has to watch the student have to watch so i'll give the third video also so two points he will be he might be get he or she might be getting so save changes and uh, uh, quiz is there so already some student have attempted the quiz i'll write another rule any condition so i'll give let's say uh, five points for submitting the quiz so specific event so let me go to the quiz i already have the quiz here so quiz model quiz attempt submitted so once the attempt submitted the student will be getting five points save changes okay so this way i can able to check all the students uh, details or uh, student parameters everything so this is the way i can able to give the uh, ratings to my students so there are totally 10 ratings 1 to 10 so in case if we want to use you can uh, use that and that can be visible by the students also so the students also will be knowing that he is moving to level number 2 level number 3 like that so these are the three options three models that we have what we have done it here in this is heat maps analytic graphs then level up so these are the three blocks that we have introduced in moodle Okay, so any queries, any doubts, please send a mail to tspradeepkumar at vat.ic.in for more details. Thank you very much.